Hello guys, this is Felix from Ocon Systems. Today, I'm going to show you what is actually inside FLX UI data table version 1.0.1 .1 and what has been renamed in version 1.0.0. Now, let's talk about data export. That is, if you want to export um, your data to PDF, to Excel, to Word, or if you want to print your data. Now, if you want to enable that, if you want to enable data export, right, you say enable data export, you say to true, then you configure your data export by saying data export config. Now, let me copy paste my configuration here. Now, I have export to, that is, I want to print, I want to export to PDF, Excel, and then Word. I have my, my title here, and then I have data columns, and that is data to include in the data, um, in the export. So, I want to export my data with a full name, a gender, and then a description data. Now, let me copy paste it. I copy, I paste it here. Now, we save. Okay, now we have um, a button here that is export button here. So if this is enabled, this button will provide a room for this export button. So if you click on it, you say print, PDF, Excel, and then Word. Now, you have defined all these things here. So if I don't want to export my data to Word, then I remove Word from this. So now we don't have Word here. You can choose to um, select all your, um, to export all your data. Now currently it is 10, which, is, which means you are exporting this data. If you click on this, it means you are exporting this data if you go next it means you are exporting this data now if you want to export all your data you select this okay now let me go back go back so now let's export to excel you say exporting you wait for a few minutes um a few seconds rather My internet is a little bit slow. Now let's open it. Now we have full name, gender, description. Okay, now let's add one more. Now let's add one more um, data column to it by saying we want to export um, mobile number two. Now let's save it. You click on it now okay now we are select we are exporting all our data which is 86 export to excel okay with this now we have our data here did it which is 80 it is 87 it is 86 because we are having header here you can also print by selecting your 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 printer then you click ok now let's talk about um, search optimization now when a user um, when a user types something here, it said true. It, it searches through this one, this this column, and then this column. So if you want, um, if you want this library to set through only this column, then you say sorry. You say search keys. This also requires an array of strings by saying say full name. Now before we save this. Let's type Felix here. 
Now let us type this. Dn. Let us type zero five four. Okay. Now we want to set. We want to set through this column. Um, this column only. Now you can also um, change the placeholder here by saying search placeholder which is equal now it is enter name to search let's say enter full name to search we save it okay now let's enter bng now there's no item let's type 05 now there's no item match let's type felix now it is here now let's use this say description then you say enter description description to search Okay, now if I type Felix, no item. If I type 05, no item. If I type BNG, G, now there is an item. Now, let's search through multiple columns by saying, let's say, um, full name. So enter description or full name to search. You save it. So enter description of full name to search. So now, if I type Felix, is okay. B N B N G. Now is there. Now let's add mobile number. Now if I type mobile number, is okay. So let me add mobile number to it. I want to. Oh sorry. By saying enter f description. Full name. Or mobile to search. So enter description full name or mobile to search. So now if I type 054, now it's there. If I type BNG, it's there. If I type Felix, it's there. If I type mail, no. Because this column is not added here. So when a user type in here, this column will not be said true. Okay. Now let's talk about um, mot let's talk about multiple selection. Now you can also um, have a multiple select um, checkbox here, where um, when it is checked, all these items will be selected by saying enable multiple selection. You said to true. Now. When a user select which data column do you want to um, do you want this library to add? That is, um, let me let me view this. Let me search. Okay. Reload. Okay. Now we have code here which is unique so by saying um, multiple select key it also requires a string now let's save it okay so now it is here when you select this one will, um, it will select all these all these um, items and then you have a button here which if um, if a user clicks it brings you all the selected items so now let's handle this by saying multi multiple select clicked say multiple select um, let me apply this. We copy our method. Now, 
we paste it here now let console log console dot log let me see um my selected items which is e you save it now let's view the console okay so now if i click on this it says multiple item select so multiple selected i my selected items rather so we have this that is one two three four five six seven eight nine ten now if i deselect this i don't want to select it i don't want to select this and i click on this now it is one two three four five six so if this um if this uh codes let me say when a user selects this one and click on this we make um, a delete request to our api to delete these items from our database okay you can also have a button here and then you can also change this text by reading the the, 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 um, the documentation we don't have, because we don't have much time here okay now let's talk about um, um this uh, this library also comes with um, um an icon that is um, a spinner when this library is making um a request to your api by saying to add a spinner you see spinner else i'll see that is spinner source now if i go to my assets my icons my i have a loader.svg here so if, um i say assets um icons then loader.svg let's save it oh we are using local host that's why we didn't see the icon so now let me stop my ramp let's say stop all service okay now let me refresh it Now we have our spinner here. So reload. Okay, now let's bring it back. Let's restart um, the worms the worm server. Okay, now let's click on it. Bam then now we also have um this library also comes with a button info to enable that you see um you see show button info then you say true you save it okay so these are the information we have the total pagination we have pagination per page which is 10 we have the total number of items so these are what is actually in um flx ui data table version 1.0.1 to read the full documentation go to npm or go to github to read the full documentation of this library thanks for watching bye